And I was like, oh my gosh, wait, why are you like so, wait, like you're normal again. So it was, that was it for me. I was like, how, how <laughs> often can we get ozone? Let's go get it. cat that I started with ozone on, his name is Camus, and he died three years ago. That just We celebrated the third year of his death, unfortunately, on the 12th of December. So when I announced on Floppy Cats that Camus was in later stages of renal disease, a reader told me about ozone therapy, and I was like, I don't know what that is, but Margot Roman had done a talk and specifically had mentioned chronic renal disease as something that ozone could help with. So that's how it all began. So we scheduled an appointment, it was several weeks out, and by and that morning that we scheduled the appointment, Camus was listless, like he would not get up off the floor, he, he was just mm -hmm. feeling horribly. And I was like, mom, let's not do this. Like, what are we doing to this poor cat? Like, let's put him out of his misery. And she said, Jenny, we have the appointment. Let's go in, let's just, let's do it. And I was like, okay. So we did that, didn't see much you know, difference or whatever um, when we got back. And the next day I was over there cause I was over there twice a day, every day to give him fluids. Mm. And um, my mom, dad and I were in their storage room like reorganizing something. And he came down and was like, hey guys, like what's going on? What are we doing down here? And I was like, Oh my gosh, wait, why are you like so, wait, like you're normal again. So it was, that was it for me. I was like, how, how often can we get ozone? Let's go get it. Um, so as it progressed, we, you know, it ended up being just Camus and I that would go out and to get ozone done. Um, and I was like, you know, I, I gotta do this at home. Like this 30 minute drive mm. in the hot heat with a dehydrated cat, I just, I can't keep doing it. So that's yeah. when I reached out to O3 Vets. Dr. Roman had suggested that we do rectal ozone and that we do ozonated saline on him, like basically mm -hmm. sub-Q <clears throat> over his kidneys. So I did that with Camus. Mm -hmm. um, so he lived another uh, four or five months after that, I think. Um, and it just mm -hmm. gave him quality of life. And mm -hmm. the other thing with a kidney cat, which was cool about ozone, um, rectal ozone obviously stimulates them to go to the bathroom and mm -hmm. kidney cats end up being constipated a lot. So that was nice because he was always a guaranteed number two for him. Um, mm -hmm. When Camus was like six weeks out from dying, you know, of course you don't know this, but retrospectively, mm -hmm. I know that now. Yeah. Um, he had necrotic tissue in his mouth and, and, Dr. Sally had brought him in to examine him and then brought him back out to my car because again, it's COVID. And she came back with a solemn look on her face and I was like, what, what? Like, he's doing great, What? what's the problem? Um, and she said, I found necrotic tissue in his mouth. And I was like, I don't know what that means. What does that mean? Um, and she said, it's dying tissue and it's, it's common with uh, kidney cats. Um, it's very painful and you need to start thinking about putting him down in the next two weeks. And I was like, mm. what, no. No, I said to her, I can't, I can't. Is there, wait, what if we put ozonated saline over that necrotic tissue? Would that work? And she's like, it's worth a shot. I don't know. Mm -hmm. So um, I talked to Dr. Ferris and she said, yeah, just squirt it over that. It doesn't matter. He doesn't need to swallow it. Just, it was like back here. And she said, just keep squirting it like twice a day over that tissue. And I brought him in, I think a week later. And Dr. Sally was like, what on earth? it is like completely healed. Like, how is that even wow. possible? Um, so I think that's what sold her the most on ozone because I don't think she'd ever mm -hmm. seen a, that such a diseased animal have tissue that could heal. And if yeah. like my sister's dog or my mom's dog, if either one of them had something topically going on with them, you know, like a hot spot or something, mm -hmm. I would totally put ozonated saline all over that mm -hmm. thing. Um, mm -hmm. so there's a lot, it's just nice to have it available and yeah. ready to use. Yeah. Um, D Dr. Ferris would tell me that, um, you know, during the height of COVID, she would go home and rinse her eyes and rinse her mouth with ozonated saline, just wow. to make sure that she wasn't going to catch anything. Yeah. So I've been sick as you know, because we've had, I've extended <laughs> like scheduling this interview with you. Um, and I've used it a couple of times in my neti pot as well. So it's, it's just great to have around. Right. Yeah.
Yeah, for sure. Um, we want to thank you for what you do. It's really amazing and it's greatly appreciated. Um, so thank you for doing this interview with me. <laughs> thank you for having me and thank you for doing what you guys do. Cause it, I mean, what it did for me and Camus, I'll never forget. Mm -hmm.